everybody needs this in their golf game, is the punch shot. It's nothing special. It's the same shot that you hit around the greens with your pitching wedge or your sand wedge or whatever you chip with, except you just make it longer and you use lower loft to keep the ball down. This is an important shot because this is what's going to get you under 100 and under 90 so you can chip out back to the fairway, back further down the fairway to set up another shot. This shot is key. It's a very key shot to always have in the arsenal because eventually you get so good at the punch shot that you eventually start punching it onto the green. So initially it starts as a rescue recovery shot. After a lot of experience it becomes a potent shot that you can start attacking greens with. This is a prerequisite because we're not always going to be in a perfect position and you want to always be confident that you can pitch it into a perfect position for the next shot. So this is a prerequisite you really do need. Okay, play, uh, players, now as part, of the, as part of the way of the player, break 80, break 90, break 100, doesn't matter what you're trying to break, okay? I don't know if you can see my face yet, but I don't mind. Now, you've got to get the punch shot right. Now, with a punch shot, you want to know your trajectory. We've got 128 yards here. And we've got these trees in our way, got the leaves up here. You have to know your trajectory depending on your club. 128, I'm going to hit an A wedge. But if I hit an A wedge, it's going to hit this tree right here. So I've got the 8 iron. What you want to do with a punch is like a chip shot, like a long chip shot. You want to keep the badge of your glove going toward the target, okay? Badge of your glove going toward the target. And you're just going to, you're going to hit a chip shot with less loft. If you're trying to break 80, 90 or 100, when you're trying to break 100, or you're trying to break 90 this shot is key often to get you back in play and very and when you get much better at it very good to get you on or around the green so we've got 128 we're going to play this off the back foot to keep it down so it doesn't hit this tree back foot badge of the glove going toward the hole and you just have to hit like a three-quarter chip shot Okay, and that's on the left side there. You see that? Now that's the kind of shot you need to get out of trouble, out of trouble without hitting the tree and hit it, knocking it straight down or going for a hero shot. You just want to punch it out, keep the loft low enough so it doesn't hit the stuff in front of you. That's the most important thing. A lot of people will just come out here with a normal club, they hit a wedge, bam, into the tree, dead. Now the point about this, what I'm making here, is that this is where it comes into play that is not the approach. It can be if you have the skill level to say, okay, I'm going to hit it low under this tree with a little draw and get it on the green. But a majority of us do not have the skill. All we need to do, be doing is looking where is that fairway, greens up here, and then again working back from the green, say, okay, what do I want to have in this green? I'm like, I'm like 165 yards away. I've got trees in my way. No chance. I'm in the deep rough can barely get the club on the ball. How am I going to get this in play and where do I want it into the green? This is the second shot. And that means you want to know, okay, what do I want to have into the green? My favorites, remember? My favorites, you want to double down on them. This, my favorite, is a 95 yard, 56 degree. Okay? How do I get the ball from 165 to 95? I need a 70 yard shot. What do I have in my arsenal? And what you have in your arsenal is the punch shot. Remember the punch shot? This is what gets you back in play. This is the number one shot you're going to need to break 90, break 100, and eventually break 80. And then once you're breaking 80, you need this shot more sharpened to get your scores down instead of shooting those big numbers. And that's when you start learning to hit the ball along the ground, under the trees, to the place you prefer, and then hit your favorite approach shot in. Players, could I have picked a better position to show you a punch shot? This is the other shot you need in golf. You need a punch shot. If you want to climb the, the ladder from beginner to break 100 to break 90, especially 90, you need the punch shot. What is a punch shot? A punch shot is a lower lofted chip shot. Nothing special. Nothing special. But you have to learn your trajectory. When you chip a 7 iron, when you chip a 6 iron with 30-40% of your distance, swing, you know, effort. How does it shoot? Does it go high? Does it go low? Does it roll a lot? You need to know that before you can take on these shots. The standard mid handicap are going to come here. Oh man, I'm going to go under that tree, bro. I'm going to hit a little low runner. It's going to bounce on the cart path. It's going to hook around on the green. It's not, I promise. You're going to pound it into this tree, drop straight down, and you're still punching. A punch shot is something to get us back in play. We can go at that. I'll show you that shot. But you have to understand your skill level. 
when you understand your skill level, you become better at golf. If I'm a standard, let's say 15 handicap player, averaging 90, 92, I'm thinking I'm gonna go at that pin. Bam, I'm gonna put a seven up on this hole. No, we're going left players, look. Just chip it left, you've hit a drive into the trees. You've got so much space left, what are we talking about? Caddy, ow, let go. So we're gonna hit a little nine iron. Now we have a gap up there. Where do we hit a ball through that gap? Imagine your trajectory. Bam, through the gap. It's left of the green. How do you get it that high that quickly? Okay, I need to hit a, I need to hit a fifth, an A wedge. How far is the A wedge gonna go? It's not even gonna reach. I'm gonna get in trouble. No, let's get ourselves to a position we like. There's the 150 marker. Further up is the 100 marker. So let's go between 150 and 100 yards. We take the what do we have here? Nine iron. Just chip it back out. It's a chip shot. You're going to have to practice that, especially when you hit toward water. You don't want to boom it too far. So you want to get used to it. It's a green side chip with a longer carry, a bigger effort. Watch. There we go. Green side chip, middle of the fairway. Look at that. Now you have a clear shot. Now I'll do the four iron for you that you're going to try take on when you really shouldn't. I'm not being mean, but sometimes you have to be cruel to be kind. So here's the shot you want to take on. You know, you're going to think about it and I'm going to be in the back of your mind saying, no, Lexi, nah? Lexi, going to be in the back of your mind saying, don't do like that. Don't do that. Okay. This is the shot. Now, when I see the shot, I can see that little draw. Balls above the feet. Okay. Not great for us. Not great for us. So it's going to probably hook. Okay. But it's going to pop up high because it's on a bit of an upslope. We've got trees with fruits in front of us. Those fruits are hard. If it hits that fruit, you don't know where it's going to go. It's a round fruit. You've got a tree, you've got a big tree. You've got a bit of gap there. If you can get this green side on the right, wow, well done. But this is how it's going to go. I might cock this up. Middle of the stance, back of the stance, glove going to the target. See, that's the danger. So you hit that out and it goes down the pass and the punch shot, remember, is a long greenside chip with lower loft. Sometimes you need to go under trees. You're going to use lower loft. Always use a loft that's not going to bang into the branch, okay? You need the punch shot. Every step of the way of your golfing career, you're going to hit it in the trees. And as you get better, you're going to hit better punch shots that actually get to the green. Give yourself time. Give yourself time. Practice the basic punch shot back in the fairway. Eventually, you're going to have the skill to go for the hero shots because they won't be hero shots. They'll be shots you can do. That's what I'm talking about. Use the punch shot to your advantage. It will be the most valuable shot besides the bump and run in your golf game. Bar none. Punch shot, basic chip and run, two most valuable shots in golf. I'll tell you that. Absolutely perfect. Good lie. Okay, but let's say you hit a pitching from there. No, no, no. Even before the bump. The pitching on nine. Come stand here. Think of the trajectory of your nine yeah, and your pitching. Maybe you touch the tree. I think it will guarantee you touch yeah. the tree. How about accept that this is a par par five? Yeah. And just hit another six iron like you did there. To put same, it on the green? Same shot. Two, two. You see the marker in the fairway? Yeah. Over that marker. Okay, let's try. Six. Leg ball. Oh, what a good shot, baby. On the green. Come on. What a man.